Hello good day viewers. In today's tutorial we are going to look on to how to find the solution for a homogeneous differential equation. It is very important to understand the type of differential equation you are about to solve before you even attempt. To find out how to identify different types of differential equations, you can refer back to my previous lesson on the introduction to differential equations. So let us now look onto this form. This is a homogeneous differential equation, which you cannot separate the variables. So we are going to replace y with vx, such that this v is equal to y over x. Now we are going to differentiate y with respect to x, dy over dx. Using product rule, you keep the first term constant. If you differentiate x, you are going to obtain 1. Multiply by v, we still have v. Plus the second term constant, you differentiate the first term, dv over dx. So now wherever you see dy over dx from your equation, you replace it with these terms and y with vx. So we have dy over dx here, which is equal to v plus x dv over dx. v plus x dv over dx. And to the right hand side, we have x squared plus, this is y squared, but y equal to vx. So we have v squared x squared. Divide by, we have x multiplied by y, this is the same thing as saying x times vx, which is the same thing as vx squared. Each term now contain x squared, which you can divide each term by x squared to clear that. So we have v plus x dv over dx equals x squared divided by x squared is 1, plus v squared x squared divided by x squared is just v squared divided by this term divided by x squared is v. Still we have v here which we want to now take to the right hand side leaving x dv over dx. This is equal to 1 plus v squared over v minus v. But you can write this in rational form in such a way they will have a common denominator by multiplying top and the bottom by v so that we have v squared divided by v which is the same thing as v x dv over dx is now equal to v squared minus v squared is 0, leaving only 1. And common denominator, we have v. Now we want to separate the variables. A v is dividing here. Once it crosses over, it will multiply. So we have v. Already we have dv here, dv. We want to take x to the right hand side, it is multiplying here, to the right hand side it will divide, so we have 1 over x. Again we have dx, it is dividing here, once it crosses over it will multiply. Now we have separated the variables, what we are going to do left is to integrate both sides of 10 day solution. Integrate this side, integrate this side. If you integrate v you are going to obtain v squared over 2 and to the right hand side if you integrate 1 over x you are going to obtain natural log of x plus the constant of integration c but we are not done yet because v is equal to y over x so we are going to replace this with y over x so we have 1 over 2 outside and inside we have uh, y squared over x squared because v is having squared. To the right hand side we have natural log of x plus c. This is the same thing as y squared over 2x squared. This is equal to natural log of x plus c. y squared, if you multiply both sides by 2x squared, you're going to obtain 2x squared times the natural log of x plus c. Hence, this is the solution for this differential equation. Now let us look on to the next one. Here is our next problem. We have dy over dx to be equal to x plus 3y over 2x. We are going to apply the same principle. 
y equal to vx, v equal to y over x, dy over dx is equal to this. We are going to replace dy over dx with this times. So we have v plus x dv over dx. This is equal to, we have x plus three times y, three times this term. We have three v x over two x. Each term contain x. We are going to divide each term by x so that we have v plus x dv over dx to the left hand side and to the right hand side we have x divided by x is 1 plus this divided by x we have 3v over 2 we have v here we are going to subtract it from both sides so we have x dv over dx equals 1 plus 3v over 2 minus v but you can write this v as 2v over 2 such that we have common denominator x dv over dx is now equal to this minus this is v so we have 1 plus v over the common denominator 2 now we are free to separate the variables if you multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this, you are going to obtain 2 over 1 plus v. Already we have dv here. And to the right hand side, this is multiplying. It will divide. dx is dividing. It will multiply. Next step, integrate both sides. Integrate this side, integrate the other side. You can factor out 2 so that you have 1 over 1 plus v left. If you integrate it, you are going to obtain the natural log of 1 plus v. So we have 2 outside, natural log of 1 plus v in absolute form. This is equal to 1 over x. If you integrate it, you obtain natural log of x plus the constant of integration, which you can also write in log form because uh, log of a constant is still constant. From law of logarithm, you can take these two to be the power of this term, so that you have natural log of one plus v to the power of two. And you can write these two terms to have a common log. So natural log of cx, they will multiply. Log, cancel log, leaving 1 plus v squared equals cx. We are not done yet because v is equal to y over x. So we have 1 plus. You can break this down, simplify, to write them in terms of y or x. But for me, I will stop here. This is the solution for this differential equation. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.